All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, just a little recap. In the first video tutorial, we drew our space diagram and we also drew the exterior walls. In this video, we are going to draw the interior walls and I'm going to give you some pointers on how to uh, make your life a little bit easier with drawing the interior walls. So. Here's my house again. Uh, it's like a farmhouse style, modern farmhouse style. And if I scroll down here, all right, you'll see that the uh, there's a lot of detail with the interior walls. It, it looks complicated, but there are some some little tricks that you can do to to make your life a, a little bit easier, as I just said. So. What I'm going to do is I, I'm remoted in to a computer in school, so this might be a little choppy. If it is, just bear with me. But I'm going to go into CAD here, and uh, I have two monitors set up. So on my one monitor, you'll see I have CAD pulled up, and the other monitor that you can't see, I have my floor plan pulled up as I can reference it. So if you have two monitors, Again, that's going to make your life a lot easier as well. So, as you can see, I've started drawing some of the uh, interior walls already. Uh, so, I've, I've drawn the master closet, the master bedroom, the great room, bedroom number three, the closet, and um, the hall bathroom right here. And as I zoom in, just want to point out a couple of things. So, the first thing that I want to point out to you guys is my exterior walls so the walls that are on the outside of the of the house are six inches thick okay so I use the offset tool I use the offset tool and I offset the the exterior walls by six inches the interior walls so all the walls that are inside of your house are offset four inches Okay, so the interior walls are four inches thick. Again, I use the offset tool and I offset the interior walls by four inches. So that's a little piece of advice. Also, you'll notice that none of my walls all right, overlap or intersect each other. Okay, I use the trim tool all right, and all of the walls are constantly flowing together. All right, uh, the exception, I do see one over here that I missed, or a couple over here that I missed. Um, so this is an example here that I don't want to see. So you see that, that this wall runs perpendicular to this wall, and we want to use the trim tool and right click to get rid of sort of that intersecting line. And we want to do the same thing. Let me pan up here again. I apologize that it's a little choppy. We want to do the same thing to that line right there. We don't want we don't want any walls intersecting one another. So that's that. I'm going to draw a few more interior walls here. I'm not going to do every single one of them because that would take forever. But just so you guys get the general idea, uh, I'll do a couple more interior walls uh, for you guys. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw, uh, so this is my hall bathroom, all right, and my hall bathroom has a door that leads to like the shower and the toilet, so the sinks and stuff are, the vanities are in this part, and then the shower and toilet are in this part, all right, and um, so the depth of this room is five feet, and the width is the same width as the hall bath, so I take my line tool. And from this point, all right, I start my line, I click once, I move my cursor. I'm going to snap on to the interior corner of the hall bath. And, and then you're just sort of connecting them both. And then from there, I use my offset tool to offset by four inches. Again, because that's our interior wall thickness. And I offset. 
All right, and then a couple uh, tools, other tools that you have to use. You have to use the fillet tool. So you click fillet, and then I need to close in this corner here. So I click this line here and that line, and that closes in the corner. And then the final tool that you need to use to clean up your, your walls is the trim tool. So I hit trim, and then I right click, and I click on the lines that I want to trim up. And one little tidbit, um, it will not let me trim this line. A little circle appears, white circle appears. So if that's the case, just hit escape and then click on that line and hit delete. So there is your, your hall bath. So again, your vanities are in this part and there'll be a door that leads to your shower and your toilet and also another sort of cabinet linen uh, cabinet right here so the next room i'm going to draw is my uh my closet to my bedroom which is up up here so my closet's going to be in here and my closet is going to be looks like it's uh right around six feet so I take my line tool and from this intersecting point, I'm going to draw a line that is, uh, let's go 5 feet 8 inches. 5 feet 8 inches. Then, um, then I come down to the intersecting point of my, of my wall. Use my offset tool. 4 inches is already set, so I hit enter. And then from there, again, you use the fillet tool. And then the trim tool. So I hit trim and then I right click. And I use the trim tool to trim out my intersecting lines. And again, you'll notice that I can't trim that line. So all I have to do is click that line, hit delete. So there is my closet. Uh, next to my closet, I have sort of what looks like a, a hallway closet or a linen closet where you would store like bedroom sheets and stuff like that. So I take my line tool and that is going to run flush with my bathroom. So I'm taking my line tool, I'm snapping onto my walls. Then I use the offset tool. Four inches is already set, so I hit enter. Use the fillet tool to close in my corners. And then I use the trim tool to trim all my unnecessary lines. So there is my bedroom closet and then my linen closet. And then the final thing that I have to do is I need to draw my bedroom. And my bedroom is going to uh, be flush with my closet here. And it's going to start at this intersecting point. So take my line tool. I snap on to there and then all I have to do or I take my line tool again connect that and I just need to offset those walls and trim so I offset Fill it, close in the corners, and then trim all of my intersecting lines. It's a repetitive process, but this is the easiest method that I have found to draw the interior walls 
Again, it's not going to let me trim that line, so I hit escape, and I click on the lines that I can't trim, and I just hit delete. So, as you can see, I'm starting to get some of my interior walls done. All right, I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to do every interior wall because that would take forever, but what I will do is I will upload this video to YouTube for you guys to watch, and then I will upload a screenshot of the final uh, floor plan with all of my interior walls to Schoology for you guys to look at. And the next video, we'll talk about how to add doors, windows, and entryways to each room.